in the middle of the president's tweet tirade on Saturday morning about President Obama wiretapping his uh, phones, he also took the time to tweet about Arnold Schwarzenegger mm -hmm. and The Apprentice, and he said, Arnold Schwarzenegger isn't voluntarily leaving The Apprentice. He was fired by his bad, pathetic ratings, <laughs> not by me. Sad end to great show. What do you think? I think that Donald Trump's in love with Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> You that, stole that's, the, what, okay. that's what Arnold Schwarzenegger right, so thinks, you, and I you agree. Went ahead. Okay, so he <laughs> spoke with, so Schwarzenegger spoke with Michael Smirconis from his radio show. Here's what he said. Don't, she gave it away. <laughs> Final question, unrelated subject, but I'd be derelict if I didn't ask. Why do you think the president is fixated on you? Why does he keep talking about you through his Twitter feed? I think he's in love with me. Is that what it is? Yeah, I think so. You've had a long relationship with him. Oh, yes. That's all you're saying on that. <laughs> Thank you, Governor. Absolutely. <laughs> well, he also talks a lot wait, about As they God. say on Seinfeld, not that there's anything wrong with that, but it's go like, on. Arnold, he talks Arnold Schwarzenegger's about... the only guy who has a better chest than Vladimir Putin. <laughs> <laughs> he talks a lot about you, Don, so maybe he's in love with you as well. I've always thought that. I think that he really likes me. That's why he talks about <laughs> me so much. So. I think the president is in love with success, and he said that the show wasn't going to be successful, and he turned out to be correct, and so... He likes to talk about things that he's in love with. Okay, so he's in success. love with Schwarzenegger. Okay, Schwarzenegger like, by anyone's imagination. Like anyone's standard is a huge success. He was a governor. He's, you know, we, so anyway, you know, go on. Right. Like, you know, we've now become lulled into this completely parallel universe <laughs> of Donald Trump in which we all of a sudden, this is just kind of normal. It's worth remembering, you know, you know, George W. Bush, when he ran for president in 2000, said he was running to restore the dignity and honor of the office after Bill Clinton, right? There was a time when Republicans actually cared about that. Now we have a president of the United States who just randomly insults B-rate movie actors, and we think, ah, oh, well, you know, it's kind of cute, right? This is crazy. <laughs> it's just totally crazy. We just gotten used to it. <laughs>